Is it possible that I found the perfect wireframing tool in Figma? Let's find out. Hey everybody and welcome to Weapon of Choice, this new segment on my channel where I talk about the tools that I use to do design for my clients, to run a productive design business and share my insights with you. Today we're going to be talking about Figma, which I know that you're very excited about because you've been writing me on all platforms, on Instagram, on YouTube comments, everywhere. Please do a video on Figma. And I'm super excited to do this video because I think that I have found a new tool that I'll be using and I want to share why. So before I dive into talking about Figma, I want to give a little bit of context about my current workflow or like the wor workflow that I had before this new workflow that I've created using Figma. So usually I would work on Sketch, do a design sketch, do a wireframing actually using Sketch, then use Envision to kind of share those wireframes with my clients, get comments on the wireframes and on the text on them using Envision. Then I would have to change the text in my wireframes, get an approval and then do the design and sketch and then take the, the work into Webflow or wherever I'm going to develop the actual website. And so because when I'm doing a design work, when I'm actually doing wireframes, I'm doing that with real text. I don't think that working with Lorem Ipsum or something like that is very productive. I don't think that you can actually do a design without knowing the, the actual text, how long it's going to be, what it's actually talking about. And so when I'm doing wireframes, I want to collaborate with my clients and have them help me finalize the text. I always write the first initial version of the text myself, but I want them to help me and iterate on it so that when I'm doing the design, I'll be doing that with the final text already. And so it was pretty frustrating to get comments on Envision because I would really love them to have them just, you know, edit the text themselves. And there are other wireframing tools like Balsamic or something like that where you can share and collaborate. But my problem with that was if I would use another tool like Balsamic or something like that, I would then have to take and recreate all the wireframes, you know, when it's done, recreate the design in Sketch. And so when I thought about trying to use Figma and its collaborative abilities to work together with my clients on the text, I thought this could be a really, really interesting experiment. And on the last website that I did with my clients, I've actually created the wireframes in Figma. Let me show you how this looks. So this is basically my Figma file and those are the wireframes for the main pages, actually all the pages. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not actually using kind of a template or a UI kit because basically most of the layout here is kind of like custom made. So I don't think that it would be helpful for me to use some UI kit. But basically, I'm as you can see, I'm actually writing the text here. It's not just lorem ipsum and it's not anything like that. It's actual real text. And what I did was just put it in a, in a shared folder and shared it with my client so they would be able to go in and edit. Now, one thing that I found like I thought this would be a cool idea. So I did this and then I was like, okay, now I need to teach them how to use Figma because maybe they don't know how to use Figma or they don't know how to use design tools in general. So I recorded a, a short video for them using Loom. Loom is a Chrome, uh, Chrome plugin extension that you can record yourself and show the screen and then send the quick videos. It's super useful. And so I did that, but then I realized now I actually really have to teach them how to use this. So hold the space bar to pen things that we think are obvious when using design software. If you think about the client who never worked with the design software, that might not be super easy for them. So that was kind of like when I thought maybe this is going to fail. This experiment is going to fail because maybe it's going to be too difficult for them to master how to use Figma just so they can edit the text. Maybe they just rather work on a Google Doc or something super simple like that. Also, I have I think I have a video about trying to do wireframes collaboratively with my clients using Google Draw. That that's also a process that I had back in the day. But again, as I said, I worked on the wireframes, then I had to recreate all the design again in Sketch. So I did this, I shared it with them. Honestly, they did not have a problem. They understood how to use Figma. And so they went in and, uh, and 
you know, changed all the text. One thing that I was worried about is that because they have an editing ability, they're gonna move things around and mess up my design, but that honestly didn't happen. Um, I would love it if Figma had kind of just like a text editor option where I can share it with somebody who just, he can't move things around, just edit text, that would be amazing. Kind of like the, the Webflow uh, editor where your clients can only edit the text but not change the design. But never mind, it still worked out well. And so the next step was just duplicating the, the project and then just laying out all the final design on it. Um, but it's amazing because I could just reuse my wireframes um, and just set the styles. And it was very, very effective to turn my wireframes into um, you know the finalized design. Now, I have to say, like, first of all, it was my first time working in Figma. So obviously it wasn't as smooth. I try to work with, you know, the sketch uh, shortcuts, not everything worked. Um, I have to say that it was a bit slow. You know, this website that I did was image heavy. And so because I downloaded the native app for Figma, but because it's still, all the files are hosted on the cloud, it's still, it wasn't as fast as sketch. So we images had to load, it takes like, multiple seconds until the project opens. So I can't say like that I loved Figma. Um, maybe I'm just too used to sketch, but the, here's the bottom line. The bottom line is this process works and this process is super efficient for me. And since I can't do that with sketch, I think that for now, when I have this process where I need to collaborate with my clients, I'm actually going to stick to Figma because Again, I don't have an alternative. And in terms of the design software itself, honestly, let's be super honest, all the design software like Sketch, Envision Studio, Figma, XD, they can all do the same thing. You can achieve the same design basically on all of them. Like the, the, the changes are pretty minor, the way that you do things or something might be more efficient than other, like a little bit, but like 90% of the software is pretty much the same. And so, that being said, I guess I can get used to living with the Figma shortcuts and you know having the files on the cloud, um, which I guess has like also uh, a positive thing where I don't have to back up it, I don't have to lose versions and stuff like that. But for now, my bottom line is when I need to collaborate, especially on wireframes, I think that I'm going to be sticking with Figma. So yeah, I guess it's a new process and a new weapon that I will be using in my toolkit to get my process faster. Hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below, what are you using? How do you feel about Figma or what's your best practices when doing wireframes? Do you collaborate with clients? Do you not? Let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.